Yo, we've come a long way, man, since being a garage band. That's right. We were rocking in the garage, man, as a band, as a rap band. That's how we started, man. Yeah, when we were when we were kids, we used to be we used to have our 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 studio and it was co-located, man. So at many different locations, everyone at some point had his her individual like studio. But uh typically, man, you know, we were recording in like a basement or a garage and uh we'd go to different studios throughout the day too just depending on like what type of access we'd have we'd be like all right so we can use the garage at this spot man record here and then from there we'll go to this other place and each studio had its own um separate set of equipment as well man sen the soul stealer broccoli landers big scheme spank motherfucking t and uh i man we've come a long fucking way man our shit sounds fucking good now man our shit sounds dope when we were young man i mean shit we used to record a lot of uh you know experimental shit man it was experimental you know cuz we're trying stuff for the first time you know what i'm saying and we were also still learning music so you know we had keyboards and synthesizers and beat machines rhythm composers and you know drum kits and all midi equipment uh musical instrument digital interface we had all kinds of shit man and the more money we made the more we hustled the more equipment we bought and we would read the manuals and read the books and shit this is before the internet so it's not like we could just go online and download this and download that no nah, man i'm talking about old fucking school so back in the 1990s man we recorded a lot of stuff um and we recorded a lot of it on fucking tape like i'm talking about cassette tape that's how we used to fucking record there was no cd back during the time that i'm referring to so as an underground independent rap group man just looking back on time in time man we've come a long fucking way google one sir grove 495l as in lima 4 that's 495 forward slash l4 go to my reverb nation page and you can check out hundreds of tracks the tracks at the top typically are the uh the newest ones uh projects that are currently underway there's some completed projects there's some partial projects man and uh you can you can peep the quality man the shit is crystal motherfucking clear the shit is all pro audio there's a lot of shit up there man that i've recorded you know just like conceptual frameworks, you know, conceptual raps, um just fucking around raps like dirty mic shit where like, you know, I went and bought a fucking microphone at like Radio Shack before they went out of business. I mean, I'm being a bit facetious, but you know, just like a like a digital internet mic that wasn't like pro audio just to see what kind of juice I could get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. All my shit's pro audio. You know what I mean I have all pro audio equipment. I got the best shit right fucking now. You know what I'm saying and I've owned equipment and and professional studio uh technology before. There was an upgrade with the internet and everything fucking changed. And it took us about 10 years to kind of like you know decide what we wanted to do in terms of this major upgrade uh in line with the internet. So, yeah man. <laughs> 